Hello, my name's Holly. I recently came back from a trip to Disney World and I bought some stuff. <laughs> um, yes, I also have some like free things or like included with purchase stuff. Sorry, the bag. Oh. Um, but I thought I would do a video talking about all of this and also shout out kind of to my job because um, we have like our points reward system which I think a lot of companies do my previous job had something similar and I got over $300 in gift cards from that so that helped pay for a lot of this <laughs> um anyways so I did purchase one lounge fly I had seen somebody wearing this and I was like oh my gosh I love it but I was like I must not have seen it and then it was right in creations I'm a crazy person um and this was uh, $75 and it's like the purple wall kind of from Tomorrowland is what I think it's supposed to be. I don't know. It's very cute. I love purple. It's one of my favorite colors. Um, and it has like the little Mickey pole and it has, I love the lounge flies that have this, uh, front pocket instead of, there's another one that's just like smaller and the zipper is in the front. And I just feel like this is so much it's not a big difference, but it makes it much more useful. Next are a couple of ears, um, which, so the first pair, I was so excited to see these in Animal Kingdom because I thought there was like no way I was going to be able to get these. I had been like waiting for months for them to release. They weren't available online. I was really sad about it. Um, yeah, and we stopped in a store so my dad could look for a, it was a father-daughter trip I went on. He was looking for a Dooney and Burke for my stepmom, and which they did have and he did purchase. And they had the Mickey's main attraction stuff. And so I did buy the Space Mountain ears, which are cute. They're a little wonky, but <clears throat> they like all were. And they say 50th on the back. Um, I, even my dad liked these. <laughs> um, but they are very cute. I did like the lounge fly, but... It's mostly white and I just like, that was too much of a risk for me. And they say Space Mountain on the side. I don't know if I'll be able to get anything else from Mickey's main attraction, but I'm happy to have these. These I had seen before and I had been like kind of hit or miss and then I had been seeing more people wearing them and they really grew on me and I got them in the same store and they are these ones. So they're like kind of like pearl Mickey heads in this plaid bow they give me like very preppy like New York City private school vibes I love them they're so cute um they also have a small tag thank you Disney for still having some ears with small tag don't understand the tag logic it was flower and garden when we went so we did the spikes pollination exploration I think is what it was called um and I as has become the standard for this get four maps and then all four prizes um I am going back in June and technically flower and garden will be going on but I wasn't sure if they would still have these available so I just decided to get them all now um and I thought these were really cute I just wish they were like stackable or like they fit inside of each other but it's fine so they're like a Tupperware they don't say what size they are it's probably like uh, a cup or two I'm not good at judging that um but I think this will be helpful for like I don't know fruit and stuff for my lunch so you have spike in this yellow one you have like garden mickey in this like blue muted blue you have orange bird on this green one and then of course you have like garden figment on this purple one. This is, I believe, what my dad ended up picking for his because he did one as well. He actually did really like these as well. He uses a lot of containers just like me. Um, so he did consider buying four, but ended up not. Maybe I will do it again in July or in June and like get him extras. I don't know. Uh, the next thing I got, my parents had actually purchased on our last trip and then I had kind of been jealous. So... It is this 50th anniversary like silverware uh, thing. So and it, this is like pretty heavy duty plastic and it comes from this carrier. I just thought it would be very good for work because I've been trying to use like non-disposable silverware when I bring my lunch to work. And I thought this was cute. And when I purchased this, I also asked if they had any of the small reusable shopping bags. 
um, because I thought this would be a good thing to carry my lunch to work in. Yes, that was the right way to phrase that. It sounded weird in my head. Um, just because I think it's like a good size. And I don't really like to use like a lunch bag and I don't need to. I can put stuff like in a fridge and everything. So I did buy this poster card, postcard set. Um, they're like 50th anniversary. They're like replica postcards here. I actually will open it. So this was funny. So we wanted to send um, postcards to my niece and nephew. I mean, my niece isn't even one years old. She wouldn't even know. But if we, if like my parents send them something, uh, send like my nephew something they try to send my niece something so he can get used to like her getting stuff too um because he's three so you know seeing all of that plus I do think he kind of likes being like the big brother who teaches her stuff uh the hardest part was finding I'm gonna break it the hardest part was finding freaking postcards which I guess makes sense like how many people send postcards anymore they had like a 50th one and that was it um, but then we found these in Epcot and so my dad bought a pack as well and that's what we used to send them the postcards. So it's just like different, um, like vintage style postcards. So I believe these are all old postcard styles that they used to sell. And so I will, my plan is to use them as like art. I buy the art, like print postcards all the time and I have those up in my living room. Um, and so we did this and we bought stamps and then got them stamped from Main Street and sent them over, uh, to my niece and nephew, which was fun. And this was like $10. I feel like it was not bad at all. Next, I did get this Figment One Little Spark Tumbler because your girl has never met a tumbler she could say no to. That's not true. I've said no to a lot of them, but I've said yes to a lot too. <laughs> And this was $25. Um, it's probably like 20 ounces, 24 ounces. Um, I like using something like this at work because I'm a big drinker. Um, I got one shirt. I did most of my shopping, I feel like, at Creations and Epcot. A lot, that's where a lot of this came from. Um, it is Pain and Panic, and it says Original Baddies. And it has, like, the little Hercules drink cup, which you can buy as a mug now. And I exercised all the self-control I had to not buy it. And if I see it in June, I'm going to buy it because obsessed. Um, but I had to buy this because I love Hercules. Pain and Panic are so funny. Oh my gosh. And this was $25. Um, in addition to doing Spike's Exploration Poly, whatever that thing is, we did do the Garden Grays and we actually <laughs> did it we each did it, which may or may not have been a mistake eating wise, but we did it. Um, and with that, you get like a free food item and it's, I think it's lime and mango Dole Whip. It's actually very good. Um, very refreshing. And it comes in this cup that says Garden Grays, Epcot International Festival, Fla International Flower and Garden Festival. Um, it's just like a plastic cup and this was filled with that Dole Whip, which like I said, was delicious. Um, and actually all the stuff we got on the Garden Grays, uh, we liked as well. Like some we didn't love, but we enjoyed all of it. I did get three more pairs of ears. So I did get the, oh, I hit myself in the face, the new Riviera ears, which there is a Riviera lounge fly that is the same pattern and I can't get it, find it anywhere. These are $40. They're lounge fly ones. Um, but they are very pretty. I do think I actually like the original ones a little bit better um, just because I like like a satiny material. Um, but these are very pretty. Um, and then I had seen these ears online and I wasn't sure about them. I was like, mm, I'm going to wait until I see them. And if I see them in the parks and I like them in the parks, I will buy them. Um, and I did like them. <laughs> so I bought them. And they're these bobble bar ears. So these were $50. Um, it's like a velvety green. They give me all the Tiana vibes. I assume that's what it's supposed to be. And then they have this like elaborate crown thing. I haven't actually put these on. Are they really heavy? No, they feel pretty good. Probably because this is very light and then this is heavy. So overall on your head, it feels like pretty good dispersal. Um, but I actually do, I did like them in person. So, and then the last ones I got were these orange bird ones. 
um, that say squeeze me, but they're not squeezable. They're just like hard plastic. Um, but it's cute. I'm kind of like mediocre on Orange Bird. Like I don't love him, but I don't hate him, you know? Oh, are these heavy? And these were $30. They're a little heavy, but not like too much. And the headband's pretty soft. Wait, so we did get a uh like Alice Grand Floridian button because we did go tour the new Grand Floridian DVC villas that they have um and so they gave us this they also gave us an art thing I don't know where I put that hmm maybe my dad did take it whatever it's fine um and then Coronado did have a magnet which I try to collect magnets this is where we stayed um and Lately, I haven't been able to find them. And literally, this is the only one in the store. Um, this was $10. Um, Delios. Now, it's just the tower, and we didn't stay in the tower, but it still counts. I only bought two pins because I have some self-control. So, there was this 50th anniversary pass holder one. And then I bought one flower and garden pin. It's this figment one that just has like a little shovel, I guess, that just like goes up and down. This was $18. This one was yellow. Um, I did buy one item in the Vera Bradley Little Mermaid collection. I was thinking about buying the backpack, even though it is expensive. It's a pretty big backpack, but... Once I bought the lounge light, I knew that I just, like, could not justify buying it. Um, but I actually do really like these card holders. I have a lot of card holders that don't zip. So I thought this would be good. And I might take this, like, on the cruise with me because we're going on a cruise in September. And I thought this might be a good pick. Um, oh, my dad did buy the Spike Spork at one of the uh, kiosks at Flower and Garden. Uh, for himself, me, and then he bought one for my stepmom as well. We didn't use it, um, but he's a cute boy. I'll use him here. Um, maybe I'll put him in my little kit and take him to work with me. And then years ago, I had seen fans and I didn't buy it any because I thought they were like, how oh, silly. And then I've always wanted one. And then my last couple trips, I feel like I wasn't really able to find one. And then in the Coronado gift shop, I saw, why is it not opening? Anyways, I saw this one. They do open more than this. Interesting. I might play around with it. Um, but it says Moody and it has Donald, so I had to get it. Um, and... Um, I just thought it was cute. I love it. Does it have a price tag on it? I mean, it has a tag, but no. I think they're like $15 or $20. I'm not sure. Um, but I'm a big Donald fan. I'll play around with it because they can like practically fold, like lay flat. I like them. I thought it might be like a cute artwork. Also, obviously, like you can use it as a fan. So but they are nice. I like it. Um, and that is everything I bought in Disney World in March of 2022. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Uh, trip vlogs will come up as soon as I finish posting any other trip vlogs. Um, I just do them in chronological order. Yes, thank you again, and I will see you next time. Bye! Mm -hmm.